what's the question in given matrix a order m cross n b order n cross p and c order r cross q under what condition of pqr would matrix be comfortable for finding the product in order this suppose we need to find a b c so the question is saying this abc is defined so you need to find the condition when abc is defined now get the question yes sir if a order is m cross n b order is n cross, n cross p and c order is r cross q so this product is defined if yes sir we to define this one then p must be equal to r so what the first answer when abc is defined when p equal to r yes sir now when acb is defined when acb is defined a m cross n. when sir when r equal to n when r equal to n sir when r equal to n then ac will be defined and see here see get no r q and when r NP. equal to n equal to q yes sir so when r equal to n equal to q am i correct yes sir and when a into b plus c is defined a into b plus c then we have ab plus ac no yes sir and when ab is ab is defined and sir ab is defined sir ab is already defined ab is defined and what the order of ab m sir, cross m cross p good now ac is defined sir when n equal to r when n equal to r then what the order we have sir m cross q m cross q and we know when we doing the addition when the order is same yes sir so p must be equal to sir m q yes sir q q that order is m cross p that order is also m cross p then yes sir p equal to q then addition is defined you know when yes, we sir. add two matrix when they have same order get the idea yes sir so when a into b plus c is defined sir when n uh, equal to p... r and p equal to q get that question yes sir good one second one easy second one done second one Am I audible? No. Yes, sir. Now, any other doubt? No, sir. Now, this question we need to solve today. Eleventh one. What the answer for eleventh one? Anybody? Eleventh. No, you. So we will start the class with eleventh. That question is good. Yes, sir. So here they are saying that M is two cross two matrix and M into One minus one, m is two cross two matrix. When m multiplied with one minus one, then answer is minus one and two. When m square multiplied with one minus one, then answer is one and zero. Correct. So you need to find m. That's the first question. Am I correct? If we get yes, m, sir. then everything we can solve. So M which order matrix? Two cross two. So we can assume M matrix is A B C D. Am I correct? Now tell me, A B C D multiplied with one minus one. This value is minus one and two. Now if we multiply, then we have A minus B, C minus D. That we can say is minus one and two. So we have the equation that a minus b is minus one and c minus d is two. Anyone have doubt on this? Now, some of you doing what? Some of you doing the m square. Some of you doing what? M square. So you take m 
multiply a b c d with a b c d am i correct or not then we have a big calculation so don't need to do m square what we need to do think that m into 1 minus 1 is equals to 1 into 0 if we multiply m here we multiply m here so we can say m square into 1 minus 1 that is m into 10 or not yes sir what is m square into 1 minus 1 they gave 10 what is m we have a b c d that we multiplied with 10 again now we can have the equation when we multiply this that is a c that is 1 and 0 so what is a we have 1 what is c we have 0 if we substitute a then we can have b what the b we got 2 if we get c equal to 0 and substitute then we can have d is minus 2 so what the m matrix we have 1 2 0 and can we find m check can we find m or not yes sir good now we have if the matrix m is a b c d then what is determinant of m that is ad minus bc yes sir detail determinant we will discuss later but here we can say that is 2 cross 2 determinant ad minus bc am i correct now what do you need to find you need to find determinant of m minus xi so m minus x into i what is m 1 2 0 minus 2 minus x. What is i? 1 0 0 1. That is identity matrix. So here we can say 1 minus x 2 minus x and minus 2 minus x. 1 0. Check. Now what the determinant of this? 1 minus x into Minus two minus x. That determinant they gave is zero. So what the condition we have? X minus one into x plus two is zero. Now what is x? One n minus two. So what is x one? X one is greater than x two. They gave no. What is x one? One and what is x two? Minus two. Can we have the concept or not? Check. Uttar Sen Karan, we get this now. Here the trick part is what? If we solve m one minus one, then for m square one minus one, we are not using that square. What we need to do? Just multiply m. So m minus one directly we can write m into one zero. now this calculation easily we can see solve then we can have the answer am i correct yes sir so that the trick part in the question no this topic is positive integral power of a matrix so i am saying we have one matrix a a i j of order n cross n so what is a square that is a into a similarly what is a power 3 that is a into a into a so this on if i write what is a power k a into a into a up to k times so when we are multiplying any matrix up to k times that is a power k and k is a natural number that the meaning of a power k when we are multiplying a matrix a how many times k times am i correct so similarly i am saying that a power lambda 1 into a power lambda 2 that we can write is a power lambda 1 plus lambda 2 or not yes sir yes sir lambda 1 lambda 2 are natural number similarly if i write a power lambda 1 whole power lambda 2 
that is a power lambda 1 into lambda 2. Am I correct? And lambda 1, lambda 2 are natural numbers. This one okay or not? Okay, now, sir. If I am saying that A plus B, we have two matrix A and B. A and B are same order, a square matrix. And we are doing A plus B whole square. A plus B whole square, clearly we can see A plus B multiplied with A plus B or not. So here we are saying that this A multi pre-multiplied with A plus B and this B pre-multiplied with A plus B. So we are writing A into A, that is A square plus A into B plus B into A plus B square. Now we have two situations. I am saying if AB equal to BA, means A matrix are commutative, then this become A square plus 2AB plus B square. I am saying if AB is equal to minus BA, means anti-commutative, then this is A square plus B square or not. So here one result we have, that A plus B whole square is A square plus 2AB plus B square for matrix. When matrix are commutative. Am I correct? So we can say if A and B are A and B are commutative matrix. If A and B are commutative matrix, then we are saying that AB is always equals to BA. So we can write A plus B whole square is A square plus 2AB plus B square. Then we can write A plus B whole cube is A cube plus B A square B plus 3A B square plus B cube. So can we think that if matrix is commutative, then binomial we can use. A plus B whole square with binomial. So we can say then what is A plus B whole power K? That is K C 0 A power N A power K plus K C 1 A power K minus 1 into B plus k c2 a power k minus 2 into b square and so on k c k b power k. So we can say if matrix A and B are commutative, then we can use binomial theorem with a plus b power k. Am I correct? Where k is any natural number. Okay, you get that one or not? So when we can use this binomial expansion for two matrix addition A plus B power K when matrix are commutative means AB equal to BA. Am I correct? Sir? No. And if matrix is commutative then we can say A power K B that is equal to a into B power K also. A power B into K1 and K2 we can write. Then this become K2 and this become K1. That also you can write. If A and B are commutative matrix and K1 and K2 are natural numbers. In this property what we are trying to say I am say if AB equal to BA then a power 3 into b square is same as a square into b cube. How? Check. 
a power 3 into b square that we can write is a a a into b b check now what is ab b a so this we can write is a b sorry a a b a b am i correct now what is this ab and this ab so this ab we can write is ba and this ab also we can write is ba am i correct now again this ab we can write is ba this ab we can write is ba and a now again this ab we can write is ba a a so this become b square and a power check this become b square and a power so a power k1 b power k2 that result we can write is b power k2 and a power k1 sorry do that correction a power k1 b power k2 is b power k2 into a power k1 if ab equal to ba so a cube b square we can write is b square a cube check the proof curse you get that yes sir so if i said if ab equal to ba then what is a power 5 into b power 4 sir b power 4 into a power 5 very good that we have b power 4 into a power 5 but that thing happen only when when sir when matrix are commutative means ab equal to ba we can use binomial theorem for any two matrix which are commutative so a plus b power k open with binomial theorem for k belongs to n when a b equal to b or we can say a and b are commutative square matrix am i correct or not yes sir so this we can use as a shortcut when we can can and any time we can use binomial for any a plus b no we can use this binomial expansion only when when a and b are commutative how we check when sir. two matrix are commutative when ab equal to ba good now tell me a and i are commutative matrix or not yes sir a and i are commutative matrix why sir because if we uh, multiply any matrix with identity matrix that we get that matrix. matrix so ia is a i a i is ia so can yes, we write sir. i plus a power n i plus a power k this result is kc0 plus kc1 into a kc2 into a square dot 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 kck into a power k where k is any natural number see i power r that is i where r belongs to natural number and i multiplied with any matrix we get the same matrix am i correct yes sir now remember this that i plus a power n this one is this anyone have doubt on this and this concept is very important that i plus a because we use this concept so many times so if we have i and a same order square matrix
सेम ऑर्डर स्क्वायर मैट्रिक्स देन ए एंड आई आर ऑलवेज कम्पिटेटिव देन ए प्लस आई प्लस ए पावर के दैट वी कैन ओपन फाइनोमियल बाय दिस गेट द कॉन्सेप्ट यस सर up to here any doubt you have so when we can use binomial theorem in matrix when we have commutative matrix means ab equal to ba ba now one result is very important that a plus b square is equals to a square plus b square if ab equal to minus ba see we prove this one no check A plus B whole square is A square B square when A B is equals to minus B. Minus B. So this result we can use. Am I correct? A plus B square if they give A square plus B square, then A B is always equals to minus B. Where A and B are same order square matrix. And non-commutative and anti-commutative. Am I correct? That result we can use wherever we need. Up to here, okay. Any doubt? No, sir. So, if we multiply any matrix up to n times, what the meaning of a power n? That a into a into a up to n, n times. times. So that n times we are multiplying the matrix. Am I correct? Yes, sir. Now, how we find a power n in different position? This concept we try to learn. Okay. Now, for that we will take one question this and try to understand the method which we are using for a power n. because this method is important okay now check suppose in any question we have matrix a and we need to find a power k where k is a natural number if we have matrix a and we need to find a power k then what the process method 1 is saying this from a first we find a square then a into a then we find a power 3 then we find a power 4 now when we find a to a square then we need to observe the pattern in terms in pattern in elements pattern in elements by observing this pattern we need to write a power k by observing the pattern what we need to write A power k. That is method one. Now apply the method one here. What the matrix A they give? Three minus four, one minus one. Am I correct? Now tell me what is A square? That is A into A. So three minus four, one minus one. That we are multiplying with three minus four, one minus one. Now tell me what is A square? So nine minus four, five, three. Minus one two. Again, minus twelve plus four. Minus twelve plus four. Minus eight. Minus four plus four. Sorry. Minus four plus one. That is five. Sorry. Minus three. Check. Now find a power three. So for a power three, what we need to do? A square multiplied with A again. What is A square? Five two minus eight minus three. 
that we need to multiply it with 3 1 minus 4 minus 1 again what do we got 15 minus 8 7 then 6 minus 3 3 then minus 20 plus 8 minus 12 and minus 8 plus 3 minus 5 up to here okay no now if we find a a square a cube then observe the change here element is 3 here element is 5 here element is 7 check for a11 one one is 3 5 7 now the general element 3 plus n minus 1 into 2. That is 2n minus plus 1. Am I correct? Now observe what happened with a12. Minus 4, minus 8, minus 12. Minus 4, minus 8, minus 12. So here we are saying the element is minus 4n. See? Minus 4 into 1, minus 4 into 2. Minus 4 into 3, so minus 4 into n. Am I correct? Next element. 1, 2, 3. That we have is a to 1. 1, 2, 3. Then t n have what? n. Next observation. Minus 1, minus 3, minus 5. That we are saying that a to 2. Minus 1, minus 3, minus 5. Then we are saying Tn is minus 2n minus 1. So we can say by observing a a square a cube, what is a power k? 2k plus 1 minus 4k, k and 1 minus 2. Observe. Of course, you get that? How we write a power k? Yes, sir. Just we need to find a, a square, a cube or a power 4. Then you need to observe the change in the element. What the change in a11 element? What the change in a12 element? What the change in a13 element? What the change in a22 element? And write the general term. That general term we are writing at a power k. This, that 3, 5, 7, 2k plus 1. Minus 4, minus 8, minus 12, minus 4. 1, 2, 3, k. Minus 1, minus 3, minus 5. That is minus 2, k. So that is the method 1. So you can easily observe that method 1 is little lengthy or not. We need to find a, a square. Here we have 2 cross 2. Then easily we can find. But if the matrix is 3 cross 3, 4 cross 4. Then it is very tough to multiply a, a square a. And it's very tough to observe each and every element. Then it's very tough to write the general element. Am I correct or not? So, But that one is one method we have. Get the idea or not? Sir, this is the only one method. No, no. That's the method one we have. Yes, sir. But this one method we have, if we're not getting idea for second method, then that method always works. Okay, sir. Here we no, suppose in the question they ask in the same question that a power k suppose they ask what is a power 100 suppose. So it is not possible to multiply 100 times no. Yes it sir. It is not possible to multiply 100. What we need to do? By observing we need to write a power k now tell me what is a power 100. Sir. 201 minus, minus 400 100 and 1 minus 200 minus 199. Correct. So easily we can write by checking a power k. Get the idea or not? Yes, sir. Now, that we need to learn method 2. And that is very important one. Because in J main and J advanced, that a power k concept, every year they ask the question based on a power k concept. Every year. So that Second method is very important. Now observe the second method. We have matrix A is 3 minus 4, 1 and minus 1. Am I correct? 
Now we are writing matrix A is I plus some matrix B. So what is I? 1, 0, 0, 1. And what is B matrix we have? 2, minus 4, 1, and G, uh, minus 2. Check. Just we need to subtract minus 1, minus 1. Because that 1, 0, 0, 1 we are taking outside, no? Yes, sir. So that A matrix we are writing I plus B. Now suppose you need to find A power K. So you need to find I plus B power K or not? Yes, sir. We know I and B are commutative matrix. Yes, sir. If I and B are commutative matrix, so here what we need to use? Binomial. If we use binomial, so this result is KC0 plus KC1 into B, KC2 into B square and so on, KCK into B power K, if I am not wrong. Now you need to find B, B square, B power K. So you need to check B. Now the best part, here what we need to use, if we take B, minus 2, minus 4, 1, minus 2, and we are doing the B square, 2, 1, minus 4, minus 2, multiplied with 2, 1, minus 4, minus 2. Then we can have 0, 0, 0, 0. So B square getting O. Now if B square is O, then what is B power 3? O. What is B power 4? O. So what is B power K? O. If we substitute all this here, then we can say A power K is KC0 plus KC1 into B because B power 2 is O, B power 3 is O, B power K is O. So this sum is O. Now we have only two elements. Now this you can write is that into I. This you can write is I plus K into B. Now what is I? 1, 0, 0, 1. What is K and what the B matrix? 2 minus 4, 1 and minus 2. If we simplify what we have, 1 plus 2K minus 4K, K and 1 minus 2. So check directly we can have the answer or not. This is the second method. Can you get the second method? So how we deal the second method? Just you need to write a is I plus some matrix B. How we find the matrix B? In the diagonal element, subtract minus 1. Now that matrix B we take, so either B square is O, sometimes B power 3 is O, sometimes B power 4 is O. If B power 3 is O, then you need to take 3 elements. Am I correct? Yes, sir. Here you need to write I also, no? That identity one. Can you get the concept or not? So yes, that sir. A matrix you are writing, I plus B. How you write A matrix is I plus B? Just in diagonal you subtract minus 1. Now this matrix B, some power is 0. Some power is O. Either it is B square or it is B power 3. It depends on the question. Am I correct? Sir, how did we get then which uh, power is 0? That you, many times that you need to check. If we have 2 cross 2, then most probably B power 2 is 0. If we have 3 cross 3, then we have B power 3 is 0. That means uh, what it, uh, sir, jitna uska wo hoga? Nein, nein, nein. That is not a general rule. Ki jitna uska yes, author hoga, utni power and 0 hoga. Aisa nahi hota hai. वो हमें मल्टीप्लाई करके चेक करना पड़ेगा बट मोस्टली जो क्वेश्चन पूछे जाते हैं भाई ऐसा तो नहीं ना कि बी पावर 5 0 करेंगे तो फिर क्वेश्चन पूछने का सेंस नहीं बनेगा ना yes, तो मोस्टली बी स्क्वायर या बी क्यूब ओ कर देते हैं एक okay, एक शॉर्ट कांसेप्ट है वो मैं तुमको बता देता हूं इफ मैट्रिक्स बी इज अपर और Lower triangular matrix of order 
n cross n with all diagonal element zero then b power n is always o not zero b power n is always o but means here what i am trying to say agar ek matrix b hai iska order n cross n hai correct aur wo upper ya lower triangular matrix hai aur uske sare diagonal element zero hain correct so b power n hamesha o hoga for example agar main tumse kahun ki ek matrix a hai 0 1 0 2 0 to kya ye kya ye upper triangular matrix hai with diagonal element 0 so yahan par b square hamesha o aayega check kar lo okay sir meri baat samjhe main kya bola यस सर सर ये जी सेलेक्टेड मैट्रिक्स में हो और मैट्रिक्स अपर या लोअर ट्रेंगुलर हो तो हमेशा बी पावर एन जो है वो ओ आएगा नाउ चेक अगेन सॉरी ए पावर एन ए पावर टू ओ आएगा चेक अगेन सपोज देखिए मैट्रिक्स ए इज जीरो वन थ्री जीरो जीरो फोर जीरो 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 दिस can this one is upper triangular matrix with diagonal element 0 order is yes, 3 sir. cross 3 then a power 3 must be o oh. get the idea what i am trying to say this one yes, concept sir. we use in general way sir this will happen in skew, uh, skew symmetric matrix where i am saying symmetric and skew symmetric that i am saying when matrix is upper or lower triangular Yes, this matrix is upper triangular because the diagonal below element is zero. But okay, sir. upper and lower triangular matrix and all diagonal element is zero. Then no need to multiply that directly. We can write. Yes, only sir. that result we have. But rest all case we need to check. In general, they gave b square is o or b power three is o maximum. Yes, sir. If and if b square is o, then we need to write only two element. If b power three is o, then you need to write three element. Am I correct? Okay, sir. Yes, sir. Get the idea or not? Yes, sir. So what we are trying to say? I am the, trying the, to say if i plus b power n, that is i plus n into b, if b power two is o. Now i plus b power n. That is i plus n into b plus n into n minus one by two into b power two. If b power three is o, that you get that binomial. Yes, sir. Where i and b are? Where i and b are? Same order. Commutative matrix. Square matrix. Square matrix. And O is null matrix of same order. Correct. Yes, sir. Can we get that idea? And this result directly we can write if we have lower or upper triangular matrix. With diagonal element zero, then directly we can write this. So how we solve that a power n, a power n we have two method. Either we need to find a square a cube and observe the element. Then we have a pattern. In that pattern, we need to write the kth element. Method one or the a matrix we are writing i plus b and i plus b power k we are finding. Now here we need to observe that b power two b power Either b power two is o, or in some question b power three is o. Then we need to write the binomial expansion up to where we need to write and simplify. Get the a power k. Get the concept. And yes, sir. When we have a matrix B which is upper and lower triangular with diagonal element zero, then b power n must be o where n is order of the matrix. 
now you get the concept sir yes sir so if you observe the first one then what they gave the a sir. matrix we have 0 1 0 0 so this easily we can see this is upper triangular matrix with diagonal element 0 so what is yes, sir. so sir, a square will be 0 If a square is O, then what is this power n? We can use binomial. So we have yes. n c zero a power n into i power n is i. Yes, sir. Plus n c one a power n minus one into i power n minus one into b a rest all getting zero, zero not. Yes, o. sir. If a square is O, this indicate a power three a power four. And so on. A power n is also O. Now this we can write is A power n into I plus n into A power n minus one into B into A. Same thing we can have or not? Yes, sir. This one is easy, no? Yes, sir. Good. Now solve the second one. This. Thing. Now here, what we need to find p power fifty. So that both method we have. Which method you are going to opt? First or second? Sir, first. That p power one, p power two, p power three. This method. Yes, sir. Ah, uh, Andy, no. Okay, for that method also I give you one concept. If you ask me what the answer, I directly give you the answer. How sir? Answer is A. How? See, if we use the method two, then observe. Now first observe method one, then method two. One observe method one, then I gave you one result also. See, method one is saying we need to find p one zero one by two one. Now find p square one zero one by two one multiplied with one zero one by two and one. Am I correct? When we multiply, what we have? One zero one zero but one two. one. 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 Good. When we find p power three, then one zero one one multiplied with one one by two zero one. Again, if you multiply, then what we have one zero one, and here we have three by two. Check. No. Yes, sir. So, if you observe this one, you can write two by two. Now observe the pattern. What is p power n? We have one, one, one. So here also one, zero, zero, zero. So here also zero. One by two, two by two, three by two. So here we have n by two, one, one, one. So here we have one. Can we observe this pattern? Yes, sir. Now tell me, what is p power fifty? One zero. Twenty-five one. Get the answer or not? Yes, sir. Now here, if we solve this question, so next time no need to solve because after this solving, we have one observation. Always remember one thing: in mathematics, when we solve one question, then what we try to learn with that question, that observation is needed. So the observation is this: what. If we have a matrix A, one, one A, one A, zero one, correct? Or we have matrix A, one A, zero one, both. Diagonal element one, either this A, this zero, or this A, this zero, correct? Then what is a power n? 
दिस इज वन जीरो ए के वन और इन दिस केस वॉट इज ए पावर एन ए एन भैया डन ओके इन द सेम क्वेश्चन इफ वी यूज मैथड वन देन दिस इन द सेम क्वेश्चन इफ वी यूज मैथड टू इन द सेम क्वेश्चन इफ वी यूज मैथड टू देन What's your approach? Now see that P matrix we are trying to write I plus some matrix B. Remember, so that is one zero zero one. Now the B matrix is nothing zero zero one by two zero. Now this one is B. So we can see B square is O because this is lower triangular matrix with diagonal element zero. So b square is getting O. If b square is getting O, then what is i plus b power n? That is i plus n into b. Now one zero zero one. Now what is n into b? Zero zero n by two zero. So what the answer for p power n directly we have one zero n by two one. That is the second one. That's why I am saying. Second method is always easier than the first one. No? Yes, sir. Okay, sir. Directly we have the answer. Now anything we need to find, we can find. Check. Anyone have doubt? Get that no, one. Sir. Yes, sir. Good. Now attempt this J advanced question they asked in two thousand twenty-two. And tell me the answer. they have m matrix and we need to find m power 2022 see the question first what the concept i gave you that m you need to write i plus b remember yes sir now if you need to write b then in diagonal you need to subtract minus 1 only yes sir so here if you write then this become sorry I means one zero zero one, and what is B matrix you have? Three by two, three by two, minus three by two and minus three by two. Check. Yes, sir. So you are saying the B matrix is three by two times of one one minus one minus one. If I am not wrong. Yes, sir. We need to find B square. Then B square is three by two whole square. And one one minus one minus one multiplied with one one minus one minus one. Am I correct? Uh, yes, sir. If you do that multiplication, so this we have nine by four, and here what we have one minus one zero, one minus zero. one zero, one minus one zero, one minus one zero. So what is b square? Oh, if b square is o, then b power three. Oh, sir. oh. What is b power four, sir? O. B power n. O. O. Get that. Now you need to find m power two zero two zero. Then we have i plus b power two 
This answer we know I plus two zero sorry two zero two two zero two two. Yeah, yeah. Then we have two zero two two into B. Now everything we have one zero zero one plus two zero two two. And what is B? Three by two, B by two, minus three by two and minus three by two. Am I correct? Yes, sir. If I what the simplification we have one plus Three zero three three. Three zero three three minus three zero three three and one minus three zero three. So what the answer we got? Three zero three four three zero three three minus three zero three three minus three zero three two. Here. See that is the advanced question. Get the concept. Just you need to write I plus B, not more than that. Yes, sir. And I plus B, if you write, then you need to find B power 2, B power 3. Maximum, I told you, we need to find B power 2 or B power 3. Either this one becomes 0 or this one becomes 0. If this one becomes 0, then we need to write I plus and B. If this one becomes 0, then you need to write I plus and B into N into N minus 2 B square if this one is getting zero. Am I correct? Yes, sir. Is even. And if you need to write I plus B, then in diagonal you need to subtract minus 1. That is B matrix. Check. Yes, sir. Easy one or not? Yes, sir. Easy. Yeah. Okay, I will. Sir, I will we will break into I plus uh, B form. Yes. Sir, that then is. there will be an. Now we have. Upper, Zero zero double triangular zero, matrix. Zero, yes. Then B power three is O. Yes, sir. So then we can zero 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 A A zero B zero zero. Now this sir, then is, we can apply formula I plus N B plus an upper triangular yes, matrix of which order? Sir, three by three. Then we know if this one is upper triangular matrix of three cross three. Then B power 3 must be O. Yes, sir. If B power 3 is O, then B power 4 is also O. Similarly, B power K is O. Remember? Yes, sir. So, if you need to find A power N, then you need to find I plus B power N. That result is I plus N into B plus N plus into N minus 1 by 2 into B square. Square. No? Now only you need to find B power 2. What is B power 2? 0, 0, 0, oh. A, 0, 0, A, B, 0. That we need to multiply it with 0, 0, 0, A, 0, 0, A, B, 0. Now when we multiply this, then what's the first element? 0, 0, 0. zero. zero. Then if we multiply A, 0, 0, so we have 0, zero, zero, zero. zero, zero. When we multiply A, B, Zero. Zero. B A. Zero. B A. Zero. zero or A B? The A B. Yes. Next element is zero. Next element is zero. Correct? Yes, sir. Now substitute. So I means one zero 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 one zero 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 one. N into B means n 0 0 0 n 0 0 0 n and this n into n minus 1 by b square means 0 0 n into n minus 1 by 2 a b 0 0 0 0 0 0 am i correct yes sir what a power n they gave a power n 148 2160 Zero one ninety six zero zero one. Check. Yes, sir. And what you have? One. One. Two, two, nine. Oh, the B matrix is this, no? Sir, A A B B matrix. Sir, and B matrix is n multiplied. No? What is B matrix? This. Sir, so zero, zero n a n a. Zero, N A N A 
zero n b n b zero zero. So we have one n a n a plus n into n minus one by two a b. Now we yes, have sir. zero one n b zero zero one. Now we we know if two matrices are equal, then their correspond element are same. Yes, sir. So what is n a? What is N B? Ninety six. And what is N A plus N into N minus one by two into A B? Two one six zero. Two one six, six zero. Now you need to find N A and B. And How we find N check smartly? N A plus N square A B by two minus N A. Into b by two, that is two one six zero. What is n a? Forty eight. What is n square a b? That is n a into n b, no? Yes, sir. What is n a into n b? Forty eight into ninety six by two. Now what is n a? Forty eight into b by two. Can we find b? Yes, sir. That's how we do the calculation. This we have forty eight. So we have forty-eight into forty-nine minus twenty-four B. That is two one six zero. What is forty-eight into forty-nine? Another. Then find B and tell me. That B is eight. No. If B equal to eight. That we are substituting here, then what is n? Twelve. If n is twelve, we are substituting here, then a is four. four. Now you need to find n a plus b. What is n a plus b? How? Uh, what n you got? Sir, twelve, twelve plus four plus, plus eight. Answer is twenty-four. Get the concept easy. Yes, sir. Very good. Now solve this J advanced question. Think and solve. Excuse me. Yes, sir. If the B matrix is, uh, that is A zero zero. What this matrix somewhere here? No, this. Get that one. That what the matrix is? C. A this A A B. No. Check. Yes, sir. So if the element is this A A B, and rest all diagonal elements, including this is O. Check. Zero zero zero. A. This is B A A zero zero zero. Am I correct? This. Yes, sir. Then what is B square? Directly you can write zero 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 A B zero 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 zero. Correct? Or we can use the shortcut like this. If B is zero A A zero zero B Zero zero zero. Then what is B square? Zero zero A B zero 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 zero. Am I correct? Yes, sir. Now use this one. Now how we solve? That P we are writing I plus B. Now what is matrix B we got? Zero 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 four zero zero sixteen. Four zero. If I am not checked, no. Yes, sir. We can have this or not. Yes, sir. That is one zero 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 one zero 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 one. And what the B matrix we are writing? Zero 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 four zero zero sixteen four zero. Am I correct? So if we observe the B matrix, that is three cross three. 
lower triangular matrix then yes, b sir. power 3 must be o yes sir now what is b power 2 power 2 0 0 0 0 0 0 64 zero zero sixty four or sixteen says sixty four check yes sir sixty four or sixteen I think sir B square will be A B ah that's sixteen a B. A B no. Yes, sir. A B. Correct. Yes, sir. That A B. Sixteen. No. Yes, sir. Now rest is done. What is P power fifty? I plus fifteen to B. Plus fifteen plus. into forty-nine by two into b power two. What is yes, i? Sir. Now what do we need to find? You need to find p power fifty minus i. That is q. So what is p power fifty minus i? That is fifty into b. Am I correct? Yes, plus, sir. Plus. Forty-nine into twenty-five b square. Now the best part. We need to do only such calculation which is required, not all. This is matrix Q, and what the Q matrix they are saying? That is Q i j of order three cross three. Now tell me, what is Q three one? What is Q three two? And what is Q two one? With what is Q three one? So Q three one. Third row, first element, first column. Third row. Yes, so sir. Third row. This is first column. Am I correct? Yes, sir. The answer is fifteen to sixteen plus plus forty nine point two five twenty five into sixteen. Now what is Q three two? Second column. Fifteen to four. Third row. So that is fifteen to four plus zero. Zero. Q two one. Second row, first element. Fifty into four. That is fifty into four. No. Yes, sir. Now, what do you need to find? So Q three one plus Q three two open Q one. Q two one. Q three one Q three two by Q two one. Now observe. Don't do that multiplication also. Easily we can solve each and everything. Here we have fifty into four. Then yes, here we have fifty into four into four plus that we can write twenty five into two. That is fifty into yes, four. Sir. So that we can write is fifty into four. Am I correct? Plus four. Uh, sorry, fifty into four into forty nine into eight. Check. Yes, sir. Fifteen to four common and cancel. Then we have four plus forty nine into eight. Check the calculation once. That is forty nine into four or eight. Sir, four. Twenty four. Forty nine into four or eight. Sir, forty nine into four. Ah, good. Do the calculation with me. Then what the answer? Yes, sir. Forty-nine into two, I think. Check. Two. The eight to sixteen. Yes, sir. Forty-nine to two. The answer is ninety-eight plus four. One zero two. Take something with the point. Yeah. Write the value of Q three one. 
Am I correct? Into, yes, sir. Fifty into four. One yes, more sir. element we have, no? Yes, sir. What that element? Plus fifty into four. So here one we plus. add one also. Then what the answer we have? Get the concept or not? Yes, sir. That e power n concept, i plus b concept. How we multiply b power n that concept? Get the idea? Yes, sir. Now one more shortcut that we will use. Remember, yesterday I told you one thing that when we multiply a power alpha one into a that question, this remember this. If a is cos theta sine theta minus sine theta cos theta, then what is yes, a sir. theta on a theta two up to a theta n? That is a of theta one theta two theta d theta. N. Remember this one. Yes, sir. Now, if we generalize this, and that is also we use so many times in so many places. Correct. So, what the generalization yes. we have? If a matrix is cos theta sine theta Minus sine theta and cos theta. Then, what is a power n? A a a. We are multiplying how many times? N times. N times. A power n is cos n theta sine n theta minus sine n theta and cos n theta. That we are using so many times at so many places. Correct. Yes, sir. Where n is natural. How easy? A into a into a. How many times? N times, sir. Then answer is cos theta plus theta plus theta. How many times? N times. Sine theta plus theta plus theta. How many times? N times. N times. Minus sine theta plus theta how many times? N times. N times. And cos theta plus theta how many times? N times, sir. Correct. Yes, Why sir. I am saying this result is important? See, if they gave a is equals to root three by two, one by two, minus one by two, root three by two, then you need to find what is a power fifty. Correct. Yes, sir. Now check. What is a actually? Cos pi by six. Six. Sine pi by six. Minus sine pi by six. And cos pi by six. Am I correct? Yes, sir. And tell me what is a power fifty? Check. Cos fifty pi by fifty pi by six. Sine fifty pi by six. Fifty pi by six. Minus, minus of sine pi fifty pi, pi, pi by six and cos fifty pi by six. Now can we simplify this? Yes, sir. What the answer? Cos fifty pi by six means eight pi plus pi by two. Yes, eight pi plus pi by three. No. Yes, sir. And we know that cos two k pi plus theta, cos theta and sine two k pi two uh, k pi plus theta, sine theta. No. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. So tell me what the answer. Cos pi by three, sine pi by three, minus <laughs> sine pi by three. And cos by and that answer directly we can write. What we answer? One by two, root three by two, minus root three by two in one by. Two. Suppose if we don't know this, anyway. don't know this. Yes, sir. And you need to multiply up to fifty times. It is not that much easy. So, yes, sir. That's why if we have cos theta sine theta minus sine theta cos theta, and you need to simplify a power n, then directly we use this. 
Am I correct? Yes, sir. Any doubt? No? no, sir. No, sir. You get this concept? Yes, sir. Last thing here we need to understand. The thing is what? If fx a polynomial that they gave is a n x power n a n minus 1 x power n minus 1 dot 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 a1 x plus a naught that is n degree polynomial no now a is m cross m order square matrix am i correct then what is f of a nothing a n a power n a n minus 1 a power n minus 2 and so on a1 into a plus a naught into i where i is identity matrix same order identity matrix am i correct yes sir For any matrix, if we are putting in polynomial, then with the constant only you need to multiply i and rest everywhere in place of x, you need to substitute matrix A. Okay? Yes, sir. Now here, if I ask one question based on that. <laughs> one question based on that, this. Real number C1 and C2 you need to find. Okay. Hello. Yes. You need to find that real number C1 and C2. So the process is very simple. The matrix M you need to write in a polynomial, no? Yes, sir. So I plus C1 into M. 1302. C2 into M square. And how we find that m square? 1, 3, 0, 2 multiplied by 1, 3, 0, 2. Hmm. That's what the answer we have. 1, 1, 0, 9, 9, 4. Nine. Okay. Yes, sir. So 1, 9, 0, 4. That they gave is O. 0, 0, 0, 0. Then I, we are writing what? 1, 0, 0, 1. Now we can say 1 plus C1 plus C2. 0. Yes, sir. 3 C1 plus 9 C2. 0. Check. And 2 C1 plus 4 C2. That is also 0. Take the question quick. Here yeah. we have 1 plus 2 C1 plus C2. Check. Ah, hello. So we have two equations and simplify. What is C1 plus C2? Minus 1. What is 2 C1 plus 4 C2? Minus 1. Now find C1 and C2. Am I correct? Sir? Yes, sir. Now tell me what is C1 and what is C2? C1. Take the calculation once quickly. Yes, sir. Can we find this? Any doubt? No. So today, last week, we learn how we find that V power N by using these two methods. Okay. Now, next class, we need to solve some questions where we use transpose also. So, next class, we will cover transpose, trace, and symmetric and skew symmetric matrix, and some question including 
these all previous concepts. And after that class, I will share one assignment that you need to attempt. And next class, I will discuss the doubts. Thank you.